Welcome back to the Ibitra YouTube channel. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful gathered yoke blouse. Okay, so this yoke blouse is actually packed with a lot of sewing techniques. You can see that the yoke is made with a net, and then we used Ankara for the other bodies of the blouse. So this blouse has a balloon sleeve, as we can see, and it is really voluminous and beautiful. And also on the waistline here, we gathered the yoke with this net band that we have here it's very beautiful you can make it as a blouse or as a dress like what we have here it's really beautiful and simple to make and it's also beginner friendly if this is something you would like to watch kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you okay so making this blouse is very simple because it's actually not a fitted blouse it's going to be gathered around the yoke area and then i'm cutting the front and back together because like i said it's not going to be fitted so i have my zipper allowance here which is going to indicate the back part but i'll be cutting both the back and front together all this so to do this now i already drafted my mini basic pattern so the shoulder i'm working with is eight inches which is what i drafted here i'm working with a neckline of three inches by three inches for the front and three inches by one inch for the back okay and i'll just mark what i have for the back and then the front i'll be indicating it with a blue pen okay so this is the back neckline and then i'll just extend it to the allowance there and then for the front neckline this is going to serve as my front neckline okay so now for my ham hole my ham hole measurement is eight inches so from the shoulder slope i measured eight inches downwards like that and then i made it into a straight line so because this is cutting the back and front together so i'll just get the midpoint of that now and I'm going to just connect my ham hole from there. Okay. So from there now, I'll make sure my before connecting my ham hole, the bust measurement I'm working with is 40 inches. So 40 divided by 4 is going to give me 10 inches, which is this. I'm not adding allowance because, like I said, we're going to be gathering this. So also, I'll not be shaping it on the waistline. So whatever I have here, I'm just going to replicate it on the waistline which is 10 inches and then I'll connect it together so from there now I'll draw my arm hole allowance I'm um, uh, my sorry my arm hole curve from there so this is what I have as my arm hole curve so next thing is to determine how deep we want our yoke to be so for the depth of the yoke I think six between five six or seven inches is enough so i'll be going with six inches then i'm taking that marking from my starting point so from there now i'll mark this straight so it depends on the style you want to use for your you you can just make it straight like this i can just make it a bit curved in form of a u-shape depending on what you want but i'm just going to be maintaining this straight measurement that i have so now because this is going to be a cut together like a cut together cape sleeve so now we need a cape sleeve to for this so to draft our cape sleeve now what i will need is from my shoulder point here remember this is the shoulder slope so from this shoulder slope here i'll be dropping it down by one and a half inches okay which is here and then on that point remember this yoke is just going around like the round shoulder area so on that round shoulder area now we need to take the round shoulder measurements because it's just going to, you see by the time we finish, it's just going to go around our shoulder. So the measurement there is important. And for this person, the round shoulder measurement is around 47 inches or 48 inches. So if I divide that by 4, I have around 12 inches thereabouts. So now from, not from my zipper allowance, you know, sorry, I hope you can see what I've been doing. So not from my zipper allowance, so from this point now, I'll take the measurement for the 12 inches. And then i'm going to mark it there so that measurement now to form my cap sleeve i'm just going to connect it from that point all the way to that measurement you can see what i did was drop down by one and a half inches from my shoulder slope which is a or from the upper part here. remember we just went down by one inch for our shoulder slope so from the upper part here you can just measure two and a half inches downwards okay and then on that one half inches mark there you take your round 
shoulder measurement which was 12 inches for me so from where my actual measurement starts here yeah, i measured the 12 inches like this then after measuring the 12 inches i'm going to be taking my curve now and then i'll connect it to form like a cap sleeve okay so from there now i'll connect it and form a cap sleeve okay so you can see that the cap sleeve now is formed so now the next thing is to connect this sleeve to our yoke blouse and to do this i'll also be using a curve driller so i think i prefer this curve better so from there now i'll connect it to my yoke so i'm connecting it like this and this is what i have you can see that i've cut my calf sleeve together with this and that is about all you need to do so after doing this now i'm going to be cutting the yoke out like this and then i'll first of all cut it for the back so now cutting the yoke i'll take my scissors and then cut out this yoke So I will cut the back neckline first. Remember, I'm cutting now the back. I'm using a lace fabric for the yoke. So now I'll cut the back. So once I cut the back, I'll fold in the front zipper, the zipper allowance, and then I'll cut out my front neckline and then use it to cut the front. So, so you can see that it is very simple to do. So now I'll go ahead now and cut it. Okay, so now I've cut it on the main fabric this is the back part of the yoke and then you can see that i just had that allowance rand where i'm going to be gathering the lower part so that i won't be having any shortage then i had that allowance on the shoulder area also i decided not to add allowance on the neckline so now i'm going to fold in the zipper allowance now and then i'm going to shape out my front okay so this is the front so i'll just place this front on the lace also now without the zipper allowance and then i'll cut out the lace the yoke for the front okay so the front yoke is also cut and like the back i had the allowance all around where i'm going to be sewing it so now we move to the lower body so for the lower body now i'll cut this out and then remember we're going to be gathering this to the upper yoke so now depending on how full you want it to be and the amount of fabric you want to work with so you can actually measure these 10 inches that we use for our bust by either two or three inches on fold to cut out that part you are going to be gathering so i just use this one and then bring in the entire fabric that i'll be using for this okay so for the lower part i just folded my fabric so this is the back you can see it's open and then the zipper allowance there and then the one upper it is the front and then i just multiply this by around two inches so you can see i have around two of these for this unfold okay so now this is around 22 inches or there but so by the time i open it i'll have around 44 inches so if you want it more you can multiply it by three and then you have around 30 inches on food so by the time you open it up it's going to be 60 inches but this is fine for this tutorial so now the next thing is just for me to cut shape out this ham old area here okay so i'm going to be shaping out this ham old area and then i had it same allowance on top also so here i'll be opening it up so that i can separate my front from my back so after separating it the only thing that i need to go and do now is to join this yoke okay, so let me just explain with fr the front yoke so this is the front yoke now i'm going to be gathering it on this part okay so on this front part here i'm still going to be adding a puff sleeve here okay so just like we cut out this this yoke we're going to be cutting this sleeve okay, so for better understanding i've gone ahead to gather this so you can see where i gathered it too i just stopped the gathering where the cap sleeve so you can see the cap sleeve shape there 
So I stopped the garden where the cap sleeve starts and this is my ham o. This is the sleeve extension that I have. So this is the front and then I did the same for the back and you know the back is just two, it's going to be in two pieces because of the zipper allowance. So this is the two back pieces and this is the front piece. So now the next thing is to cut the sleeve. So to cut the sleeve is a ball sleeve and you know ball sleeve are usually puffy. So different, depending on how puffy you want it to be, I'm using a length of 22 inches and then the width of the fabric that I'm working with. So you can multiply your round ham hole by maybe two or three. So the length I'm working with is 22 inches. As you can see here, I have 22 inches and the width I'm working with on fold is around 16 inches. So by the time I open it up, this is 16 inches. So by the time you open it up, it's going to be 32 inches. So you cut two of that and then the only shaping you're going to be shaping here is where you're going to be fixing it to your blouse on the ham hole. So you can just place it on it like this and then shape that part out. So you can see just like we shaped it out for our main bodies also you shape the armhole out so after shaping the armhole out now we're going to be gathering this upper part okay so this upper part here we're going to be gathering it on this but before you gather it you need to sew your front and back together so to sew the front and back together now we're going to be placing it together right side facing right side like this and then on the shoulder, remember with that added allowance there. So on the shoulder, now you take it to the sewing machine and then join the shoulder. So after joining the shoulder, you have the front and back together. So this ham hole here now, this, sorry, this sleeve here that we have. So from where your cuff, your ham hole cuff stop, you're going to be gathering it to this size, to this cap sleeve size for the front and back. And then this ham hole area is what you sew to your ham hole so you sew this to your ham hole and then the excess that you have there you gather it to fit into this leaf so you do that for both sides and then on the hem line here you sew a channel like this and then you pass your elastic band to fit your wrist or wherever you want it to be so now i'll go and do that now and then bring it back to show us how we are going to be shaping the waist area okay so now the sleeve have also been gathered and as you can see i gathered it on the cap sleeve area and then the ham hole was sewn to the ham hole so now the next thing now is to insert our elastic through the channel that we created so i made the sleeve this long because i want to push it up by the time i'm done so that can give me that very full ball effect so now to do this now you just take this round your wrist or wherever it is you want and you can deduct maybe one or two inches from it if that is what you want if you don't want it to fit it so now i'm going to pass this round the elastic area on the hem line to gather the hem and then the next thing is to place it right side facing right side and then i'm going to sew it on the underarm together so after sewing it on the underarm now the waistline here remember it's still in excess i'm going to be gathering the waistline also to my actual waist measurement okay so now you need your actual waist measurement for it to be fitted so i'll be gathering it to my actual waist measurement and then i'll be gathering it to this band okay i'll be using this list as a band for it so i'll cut around two inches or three inches band with my waist measurement so if the waist measurement is 30 inches you cut a waist a, you cut a band of 30 inches length and then maybe six inches width so that by the time you put it on foot you have the three inches or maybe two and a half that you wish to use and then you gather this band front and back to this waist measurement so i'll bring it back so that we'll see what this looks like So the outfit is complete now and this is what we have. You can see our ball sleeve that I was talking about and the waist has been gathered to the actual waist size. So you can just make it a blouse or you just had a skirt to it to make it a full dress like we have here. You can see this is very simple to make and it is beginner friendly. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. If you enjoyed this, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay.